Assalamu alaikum. The world has become a global village. We know that. The norms are becoming similar from country to country. The cultures are dissolving to a great degree, with some still taking a bit of a while. But remember one thing, when you're getting married, the Prophet ﷺ always teaches us, look for someone who is similar to you, similar in certain ways, you know, their habits perhaps, similar in their financial standing, similar in their religious dedication, similar in their lineage to a great degree, and so on. But my brothers and sisters, that, that is called kufu or kafa'a. A person would be kufu or the verb would be kafa'a. Remember, it is important for us to follow that instruction, but some people use that as an excuse to deny a cross-racial, cross-cultural marriage. Now that's not Islamic because for as long as these people who belong to a different race, so it's cross-race, you know, interracial marriage, for as long as they've been brought up in a similar way, say you were both brought up in London, you were both born and raised in New York, for example, both of you were born and raised in Australia, and uh, you went to the same schools, you went through the same system, you had the same norms. Your parents might not have had those norms, but you've had them and you've brought up together. My beloved parents, when someone proposes for your child or your child wants to marry a person of a different race who's been brought up within your system, don't use kafa'a and kufu and the lack of similarity to deny them that right that Islam has given them. That is actually racist. That's what it is. So if it does happen that they want to get married and they happen to have a similar sort of an upbringing, education, etc. They went to the same schools. They, they grew up in a similar fashion. They, they come from the same community. They had the same community center. They went to the same masjid, madrasa, uh, university, whatever else it may be. You know, the norms are quite similar these days. So the, the, the disparity is not that huge. But where you have those people who are strictly cultural and the children themselves are also that cultural, then perhaps you may want to tell them this thing is not going to work. But let's not be racist and let's understand Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala created all of us and he created us equal. Yes, we, we are encouraged to look like the Prophet ﷺ says at some form of similarity, but don't use that as an excuse to deny someone their right. Similarly, we're never allowed to impose on a person, never allowed to impose on a person marriage. So a groom cannot be forced, the bride cannot be forced. Don't ever force them, no matter what. My brothers and sisters, people are struggling across the globe. We're in the 21st century and look at how people are coming to us and telling us, you know, I've been denied this and this is wrong and that's happening and now I'm being forced to marry and I didn't want to marry and I was compelled and I don't love the man and now I'm so and so, my heart is elsewhere. These type of things are not supposed to be. Listen to your children, talk to them, communicate with them correctly. And at the end of the day, I'm a person who believes I'd rather let them make a mistake uh, and come back in, in one piece, mashallah, to me and say, you know, I made a mistake, you were right. And for them to lose their minds and become depressed and become, you know, patients of mental health with me being the cause. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala protect all of us. I pray that Allah protect us also from racism and from various types of wrongdoings in this regard. Aqulu qawli hadha wa sallallahu wa sallam wa baraka ala nabina Muhammad wa alaykum wa rahmatullah.